welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video today. You have no idea. When I tell you what I'm feeling right now, it feels like I've just arrived home for the first time in like 10 years. I am in a mafia mood. Mafia madness, bitch. I am a mafia queen at heart. It's my favorite trope. One of my favorite things to read on the fucking planet. And I want to sit down and talk about all the books, all the mafia romances on my TBR that I want to punch through this month and the following months because let's be real I'm not gonna be able to read all of these within like three weeks so we're doing a mafia TBR video today I've got a new recommendation video coming for you very soon it's been a long time since I have filmed a recommendation video for the mafia trope and I also want to do my top favorite mafia husbands of all time I've been writing my list narrowing narrowing why can I not say that word? I've been shortening my list um, and like going through all the mafia husbands I've read with a fine tooth comb, bitch, and seeing who deserves to be on that list. So that will be coming in the next month as well. It's a mafia month. Why does that look like that? What's on my head? What's going on? I just flicked my fucking finger. I've got my period too, by the way. And life is life. You know when someone asks you how life is, I always respond with life is life and what else do you say when life isn't particularly bad but it's not particularly good? Like life is just life and like things are happening, things are moving. I am busy. I'm talking so much shit today. I don't know why. I just feel like having a chat. I miss my babes. I miss my YouTube channel. I miss sitting down with you guys every few days. I know I've been a mum for like two years but it feels like I just cannot um, stop grieving. <laughs> life pre-baby like don't get me wrong I love being a mom I feel like I need to do a video I think I need to sit down and talk about motherhood with you guys while doing like a book haul or something my kids nearly two and I'm still just like <laughs> what is life like I have adjusted but also not at the same time anyway I'm rambling yet again. I've been reading Mafia for the past week now, ever since Cora's new release. I was like, that was trash, bitch. I need to fill my Mafia cup up with something better. And I've been on the hunt. I have a list here with me, a mixture of different Mafia romances that I have not read, but I'm just like on the hunt for like the next new big thing. Like I want to be obsessed. I want like the new Ronan, okay? And you know what I mean? Like, remember back in 2021 when I read Ronan from The Darkest Temptation? I had full-blown delusions going on. They're the vibes I'm looking for. Like, I just want to be transported out of my reality into the mafia world. And I want to live my best fucking life. After reading fan fiction, like, the whole Death Eater thing really spoke to me because it felt like the mafia. And I was like, it's time. It's been a long time. So here we are. I'm going to stop talking absolute fucking shit. The first mafia series that is on my list is this one here by S. J. Tilly. I have never read anything from S. J. Tilly before. Okay, not one book, not one word, nothing. Don't even know who she is. Don't follow her. I don't know. But this was recommended to me. This is the Alliance series. There's four books. The first one is called Nero. <laughs> Nero. The second book is called King. And then we've got Dom. And then we've got Hans. Ooh, and Hans looks like he's got a scar on his face. And you know me, baby boo. I love a man that's been sliced in the face. Is that a book? I think I've got mail. Hold on, bitch. Hold the fuck on. It wasn't the mail, unfortunately. I do have some mafia books coming in the mail. Coming in the mail. Anyway, back to Nero. Nero? Nero? I don't know. But I am intrigued about this series. As I said earlier on, I'm really hunting for like my new favorite mafia books. It's been a long time since I've stumbled across one that has really tickled my dick. And you know me, I love a bit of a tickle. Okay, right on the tip of it. And I just want to be transported into the mafia world and have a good fucking time and feel like I'm a mafia princess. Okay, that's what I feel. That's what I want. That's what I love. Now, I don't know if Nero... Nero. I don't know if this series is going to do it for me, but everyone recommended it to me. The books seem like a pretty decent size as well, and I'm always looking for decent sized books. Like the good 300 to 400 mark. If you go over, like if you exceed 400 pages, I get intimidated and I'm like, whoa, what have you got to say in 700 pages? Will I get bored? Like is the momentum of the story fast paced enough to keep me intrigued and entertained? We don't know. So I usually stay away from like big books so this series i am excited about because the books don't look too large and intimidating uh so that's on my list 
Put it on your list too. Then we have Jagger Cole. Now, I discovered Jagger Cole's books last year, and wow, my mind was blown. Deviant Hearts has turned my heart deviant, that's for sure. Jagger Cole is actually a male author, which I was really iffy on at the beginning because I like to, you know, read female authors. Um, and I just didn't know if he was gonna write the mafia the way that I like it. His mafia world is insane. And because he is a dude, there's this like masculinity he brings to his books that you don't read when a female author writes the mafia. Like they're gory, gritty, and they're just heavier. They feel more like, Ooh, what the mafia actually would be. Um, so this particular series, I have not finished. And so I want to get through this series because he has just come out with like a next gen that I want to check out. Um, and I'm really like fighting with myself. I want to read the next gen so bad, but I need to finish this first. So the books on my radar from Jagger Cole are Sinful Hearts, Twisted Hearts, Stolen Hearts, and also Reckless Hearts. Reckless Hearts, that cover, like this one right here, speaks to me because of the face paint. Like, what's going on? What's going on, my mafia-made man? What are you doing, boo? And the first book in his Next Gen series, I think it's Next Gen. I could be wrong, don't quote me, is Toxic Love. <sighs> when I read Jagger, like, the first time, because I have read two books from him, I just felt like... I don't know, euphoric. It was just like, oh, this is really good mafia, decent plot, plot twist. Sex is insane. Chemistry is there. It's gritty. It's dark. I love darkness, baby. You know, I'm a dark romance reader. I will like forever choose the darkness over the light. I just feel comfort within the darkness. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I love Jagger and I really want to finish his series. If you have not read him before and you're a mafia lover, what are you doing? I will thank Jen from the Book Refuge for introducing me to him. Sam Mariano wrote Untouchable, okay? And that's one of my favorite books of all time. I don't care what you say. If you don't like Untouchable, we do not have the same reading taste and we cannot be friends. And all of her books are literally on my TBR. Like I need to read all of her shit. But this is on here because it's a mafia series. Um, and the first book is called Accidental Witness. And this is the Morelli family book one. I don't know anything about this. I did actually start it the other day and I don't like the formatting. I'm such a fucking snob when it comes to ebooks. If the formatting is off, I struggle to read it. I will say fan fiction actually helped me kind of like get rid of that ick I had because obviously with fan fiction, a lot of the time the formatting isn't perfect. Um, but I really want to read this. Apparently it's fast paced, twists and turns, really wild, really good, but fuck wild. And you know me, I love wild romances. I just like wild dark shit. I want to be on the edge of my fucking seat. I don't want to know what's going on. I want to be like, what the fuck? How did you think of that? Like I want to be Delulu the entire fucking time I'm reading a romance and especially if it's mafia. So that's why this is on the list because I've heard through the grapevine, that it's fucking buck wild, baby. We've got Distance by Luna Mason, and this is book one in Beneath the Mask series. I was excited about this. This entire series, I really liked the covers. Um, but then I started reading reviews, and I shouldn't have done that. The reviews on Goodreads are bad, like really bad, like really, really bad. So let me know in the comments below if you've read this series. Please convince me if I should or not. Because after reading the reviews, I was kind of put off it. And I was like, oh, I don't know, baby. I don't know. I usually don't go off reviews I read. Like, because sometimes people hate the books that I like. So oftentimes I don't tend to take on reviews wholeheartedly. But because there was so many bad reviews, I was like, okay, maybe this is actually trash. Don't know. But, um... It's a series. There's plenty of books. I don't know nothing about it. Okay, so we got Distance, Detonate. Detonate? What? Detonate. Like, detonate a bomb? Is that how you pronounce it? Who the fuck can speak English? Not me. And it's the only language I can speak. Uh, we've also got Devoted and Detained. 
So there's four books within the series. So we're gonna check it out, possibly. You have to convince me, okay? That's your job at the end of this video. If you've read this and it's good, let me the fuck know. Um, because if you're saying it's good, then maybe I will check it out. But those reviews, as I said, were terrible, baby. They were so bloody bad. They were so bloody bad. Now there's just some random ones, just like so random, like random AF. Ones that you guys had recommended to me via Instagram and also in the comments of my last video. So we have... Soldier of Death, and this is the Shadows of Redemption series, book one. Um, apparently, from what I've gathered from the DM that you, one of you, sent me, it's about this girl who's trying to get out of an arranged marriage. She's a mafia princess, so she sells her virginity to another mafia dude to get out of this marriage, and then he, like, captures her or something. I could be wrong. I'm just trying to remember the DM off the top of my head. Um, so that sounds different. That's the thing, though, like, I'm looking for different shit. The sun is ruining me. Look, you can see the sun. Anyway, I'm looking for different shit because mafia is so regurgitated at this point. Like if I read another fucking arranged marriage with a bitch is a virgin and she's like, oh my God, he's a bad man. Like as if you care, like as if you didn't know already, like you're a mafia princess. You've been trained for this. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I'm just looking for absolute baddies. Like, when it comes to my female MCs, like, I want them to be baddies. I want badass bitches that are powerful. Like, Melody from Ruthless People. Do you remember that series? Ah. Oh. That was one of the first Mafia series that I ever read, and it took me on a journey, to say the least. It was a fucking journey. Now, Melody's personality was a bit much, okay? I want powerful women kind of like her, but a little less. Like, can we dim it a bit? Because that was that was a lot, though I loved her female character. I do just want women that are, like, in touch with their sexuality. They're, like, feeling their oats, baby. They're, like, confident and they're ready to play the mafia game with their husbands, boyfriends, bodyguards. I don't know. But they're ready to, like, be the chess player. Okay? They're going to be the kings. I want female kings. This here, which I'm very intrigued about, and it's Slay by Abby Glines. Now, apparently this is like Yellowstone meets the Mafia. I love Yellowstone. Okay, one of my favorite shows. Beth? Beth. That's all I've got to say. Beth? Yeah, she is the baddest bee on this planet. I want women like that in my romances. Like, come on, baby. You know, like, I really want someone like that. Anyway, I'm intrigued about this because, as I said, I like Yellowstone and I feel like that's something different. And that's what I'm searching for. I want something new, fresh, something I haven't read before, something that's going to keep me entertained, add something new to the table because, you know, let's be real here. Romance is so popular right now. People are writing romances left, right and center. There's new authors. There's just, there's such an oversaturation and influx of um, romance books that, Everything's kind of blurring together, all right? You need to, like, filter through all the books to find the good ones. And for your book to stand out, you need it to be different and something completely fresh and new. Um, and this intrigues me because it sounds completely fresh and new. I'm just fucking banging through books, baby. Like, I'm just bang, bang, bang every two days. New book, open up, bang, let's go. Like, there's no time for fucking... Slow coaches around here, bitch. I'm not being a slow coach anymore. I've spent the last two years of my life being a slow coach and I want to get shit done. I want to find books, read books. I want to turn into a book myself. Yes, I do. I want to be a book. Mm, yep, on a shelf like this. Like I just am on one today. What is wrong with me? So many things, so many things. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for keeping up with my chaos. Um. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any recommendations, if you read any of these. Give me your thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Have you guys read the new Cora Riley book? I'll leave my um, latest review on that. I'm still reeling about it, bitch. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around with me. It means the world to me. Um, and I'll see you as soon as I can see you, like next week or something. <laughs> Bye.